now installing our newly done or finished uh, nest for our hen. Kuya Rune is uh, just uh, fixing it in one of our installed branches here. So this is a uh, mango, uh, mango uh, tree branches from our trimmings or pruning. So atong gigamit ang mga pinutol na to ng mga extra branches sa atong mga mangga diri sa sulod and uh, we place it, we place them here as design also and to hold our uh, native nest for our hens so nana tay bag uh, hens actually diri uh duha ka buok this one this brown is uh she's a PWD pet with disability actually her eyes her left eye is uh, damaged I don't know if uh, it can be seen from afar so let us see so, that, that one I think uh, you can clearly see that so that's the eye that is being damaged uh, that is damaged so she's only using one of course one eye the right eye so she is blind uh, not totally blind kaya na paman siya ay uh, isa pa kamata okay, that's our new uh, chicken it just arrived this uh, morning we bought it for 200 pesos and then the other one was the other one is here Nadiriang isa okay. so this is the other one I'm not really sure if uh, this is female but the owner or the supplier said it's female it's quite big for a female chicken anyway we will know later because the it's still very young it's already big Nako nako na siya nga chicken but uh, we cannot really tell if uh, sh she or he is <laughs> female or male without joke may uh, bawaan na if otubo uh, na ang atong manok so actually upat na ni sila din eh this is Singa, that's Singa, and then that's uh, under the concrete bench is uh, Sparrow. And this one, wala pa yung alan. We still have to name name him or name her. I'm not quite sure of his or her gender. So, ato pa na siyang decipher later on as she grow older or as he grow older. This is a female chicken or a hen. So actually, nang itlog na ni, and then uh, napusa na yung itlog. And according to the supplier, the owner of this uh, chicken, dagko na daw iya hang piso. Uh, in our language or local language, itawag na nato og tali. Natali na ang iya hang mga piso. So that means, uh, pwede na siya separate sa iya hang mga anak sa so, iyang mga chicks hmm. na itaw diri sad nga mahilig sad og chicks kani siya si kuya <laughs> si kuya ron eh uh, man ang maay kay mohimo og nest kay mahilig man og chicks uh, dili chicks nga kuan katong chicks nga manok so kuya ron eh is uh, tying fixing the native nest into the branch so na ito support ang atong duha ka support ang atong nest kaning nagway nga branch so mo nang ato nagipili nga branch kay uh, really it's uh, it's nice 
Maayo yun siya butangan sa nest. And then naas siya isa pa ka-branch here. Nga pwede sakaan sa sakaan sa atong hen. So anis siya mo cut-cut. So from this base here, ano nga lag? Saka siya, malupad siya din ha. And then here, and then masulod siya dito. So I think we're I'm planning planning to put a kwan might need to siguro butangan na ito di rin kwan bay kanang sanga or another branch a smaller branch here para para na sangga siya oh then that to sa likod to support the the bottom of the the nest and here we'll put one uh, one branch here uh, so it would serve as a mura siya parang uh, landing area landing area before uh, she could go inside the the, the nest okay so that's our beautiful native nest made of coconut leaves so actually ikaduha na ni siya na itong project ang isa na adiri so this, this is our first actually first nest that uh, we created uh, this morning and dako dako siya of diameter dako yung diameter sa yung uh, entrance but it's okay. Kuya Ron is already uh, placing a, an empty sack. Serve as the bedding. Okay, I think that is uh, that is ready for nesting already. And same thing, we use uh, these branches from our trimmings or pruning uh, a month ago. Uh, you notice we fix it in the post using the tie wire ah, yan, tie wire so we fix it there and of course this branch also has uh, three branches one two and then three so the nest really has a uh, support so that it will not uh, fall down delicia mahulog and then we place of course this uh, bridge like this branch serve as bridge so the chicken can walk through this uh, branch uh, before he goes in she goes in the nesting or the nest so it's a safe place because it is uh, under this uh, canvas uh, and not really damaged Can canvas this part here is not really damaged because some parts are really with holes already like this one and uh, this one here so I'm afraid that the uh, rain would uh, go through this uh, hole here up to the the new newly installed uh, nest. So maybe we will uh, put uh, something like patching so that uh, the rain will not uh, gas through the material to our nest. Nanglan ugagyod ang atong nest, especially sa loob or sa sulod. Para dili mabasa ang mga eggs. Okay, once mabasa ang egg, ma, di na siya ma-hatch. So, there's no way that our egg will be, you know, hatched kung mabasa siya. So, ma-maintain. Dapat ang iyahang uh, correct temperature. I just really don't know what uh, is the correct temperature. Ilang may temperature, ano ba? Yung giniton para ma-incubate ma, ma yun ang itlog. 21. 20. Di ba na 21? Ay. 21 degrees Celsius. Uh, there is really a, a desired uh, temperature or 10 degrees Celsius of heat. Uh, so eggs will be hatched. So anyway, uh, we will research on that. And then uh, in the next video, we will uh, inform you about it. So this is the progress of our uh, chicken compost system. So our chicken are very busy uh, searching for food, for worms, bugs, and etc. So this, these are these two are our new addition to our uh, chickens here, native chicken.
course this is how our chicken run would look like right now it's uh, quite messy but uh, we designed it that way so chicken can uh, go up and down the mount and scratch those uh, leaves and twigs every day so actually we are mixi mixing uh, we are uh, throwing our kitchen scraps here uh, mga panit sa fruits or vegetables and all scraps coming from the kitchen kitchen including uh, rice crumbs except bones fish bones and uh, um, pork and uh, chicken bones for the reason that uh, we don't like uh, animals to you know go after them enter this uh, chicken run and then damage our chicken in the future so atong ilabay din he ipon na to sa mga organic matter katorang mga uh, fruits and vegetables scraps actually the chickens our chicken are already starting to work on our compost so this is supposed to be mount of uh, you know, leaves and twigs and now they are starting to scratch that's why it's already like this quite messy so this this is the texture actually of, of this material it's close to soil already it's broken down starting to break down yeah, I think in just uh, less than uh, two months this material will become already fertilizer or compost okay so that's the development of our chicken compost system we are happy to have this nest already installed one there and one here uh, still have uh, to add one more here and another nest there on top of that uh, trunk well, okay so thank you for uh, watching and I uh, hope you you learn something from this video and uh, of course we are uh, expecting uh, more chickens to come uh, as soon as we can contact our uh, friends who have uh, chickens at home okay so see you next video and uh, thank you for watching Au revoir. See you soon. Bye.